I recently made a video talking about how Seth Rollins has been carrying WWE and putting over superstars we had given up on. After multiple reports, it turns out that he is seriously injured and might actually vacate the championship. Which would put us in a weird position to crowd someone who is probably not CM Punk and probably not Damien Priest. Some people say that getting the title will be unfair as Roman can disappear for months and not defend his. Some say this might be one of those fighting through the pain storylines. Regardless, he is rumored to be addressing us this Monday about his injury. And among the people who think vacating the championship isn't how it should end. Jeff Hardy teases turning heel on Rampage. Someone said, great back and forth match, great chemistry between these two. After a brutal match versus Darby Allen, where we saw both of the superstars damn near murder each other, Darby Allen went in for the double fist bump out of respect, where Jeff rejected his gesture and left the ring. Someone said, I'm setting a Hardy Hill turn coming. There's been so many problems with Jeff signing to AEW, mainly with his booking, real life problems, and in ring ability. Maybe a heel change might actually be beneficial to him as his last push to hopefully getting an AEW World Championship title shot. For long, Jeff Hardy has struggled to get back his magic that he used to have in WWE. And now, nearing the end of his career, we get to have one last try with one of the all time favorites. Someone said Jeff Hardy is the greatest of all time and he deserves a shot at the AEW World Championship. I want to see him become a champion again and I want to see him be that guy. Crypto Zoo? It's the same reason. The Forest? In a promo between Kevin Owens and Logan Paul, Kevin Owens called Logan Paul protected and that there are things he wants to say but is not allowed to talk about. But then Kevin Owens deflected and made it seem like that's not what he was talking about. OWW doesn't use the Logan Paul scandal in a bad way, since it's a very sensitive subject that affected a lot of people. But as a WWE fan, it's a good way to get hit on someone especially heading up to a big match. Someone said, Kevin Owens is speaking the truth about Logan Paul not being one of them. He's great as an Indian performer, but as a WWE superstar, heck no. Nick Aldis is an MVP. At this point, I wouldn't mind a Nick Aldis match against Roman Reigns. He's been such an obstacle to Roman Reigns, they have to feud at some point. Someone said, Nick Aldis has definitely been killing his GM and has become one of the top main stars on SmackDown. After Paul Herman came to the ring to refuse the contract signing for his tribal chief, he told Herman he will force Roman to vacate the title and have Styles, Knights and Orton to fight alone. Then made Herman turn quick and reconsider. Now, this did cause a fight between Styles and Knights with LA Knight cutting an amazing promo, leaving Randy presented as the only threat to Reigns. Someone said, What bothers me is that they're already showing that both LA Knight and HS Styles aren't winning the title, obviously, and also that when they lose, they aren't getting more shots at the title, but instead are focusing on each other as rivals. Later on, Styles and Knights were taken out by Solo, who also got taken out in the main event after he tried going for Randy Orton. At this point, the GM work of Nick Elders with Roman Reigns is becoming absolutely captivating and hopefully someday they will fight and finish it in the ring.